going to the kitchen. Yeah. Putting the mmm in summer. Mmm. Hellman's sponsors this morning food. Oh, well, yeah, this here we go. It smells pretty darn nice. The boss John. man is here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's a proper meal. What? Are you kidding oh, me? Yeah. Of course it's a proper I meal. We we're just going to have a taste, you know John. No, no, I've got to feed you. About John, he'll always make it stretch. My mum used to say that. It's <laughs> fine. Tell them to come over. I can make it stretch. <laughs> That's it. And the, the whole idea really is to make food actually as quickly as possible for as many people as possible and actually as cheaply as possible. Andy, you love chicken thighs. I They're do. great. No skin really? on them. He's not said. No, no, definitely no, just said, yeah. <laughs> But I'm going to show you how to do a really, really quick curry. Now, this actually is called Chiang Mai noodles. Oh, my God. Uh, it's mm -hmm. got the cow soy, half um, oh, soft wow. noodles, half crispy oh, noodles across the top. That there is Nam Prick. Yeah. OK, I that is... How that do you... Nam Prick. How dare you? Prick, prick, <laughs> prick means chilli, Nam means mm. fish sauce. Yes, OK, oh. so this here, they're chopped up, that's super hot. You want, yeah. I know you like it really hot, Andy. Yeah, so there we fun. go. Mm. I'm going to show you the easiest way to make this. Wow, yeah. wow, good. wow, John Tomorrow, This is good. This is good. a food dance. You've got to yeah, do the food yeah. dance. Oh, good news. Yeah, Shimmy. Yeah. You might have about done oh yourself. Oh, my gosh. Here. Ooh. When you make a curry, don't use oil. Start with coconut milk, but you use the top bit of the coconut milk, which mm. is actually a lot fattier. And what happens is it starts to split, and that becomes your oil. So that's the, the fatty bit of the to do it with. Oh, my God. Yeah. So you do that. Now, the other thing is this is, like, five no. ingredients. You can buy this curry paste now in big tubs like this. Yeah. That's about £3.50 online. Right, that'll last for ages. It sits in the fridge. You don't have to worry about it. You take a couple of big spoonfuls of that and you put it in with that coconut milk. And this is the easiest way to make your curry paste. Now, I use a good tablespoon for four people. If you want to make it hotter, go ahead. But you don't need to use things like lime leaves or lemongrass or anything like that. This is just one of those really mm. quick curries. This mm. is so nice. But the secret here is about getting this curry paste to really give you lots of flavour. Got the, the, the flavour of the curry paste, the blandness of the noodles, yeah. and then the salad across the top. Yeah. So the mm. salad across the top is all important. So I've got some coriander, some Thai basil, some That's red what chilies. I can taste, the Thai basil. Thai it's basil. It's so, mm. and you can now buy it in supermarkets everywhere. It's amazing. Oh, you used to be able to buy it it's nowhere. It's delicious. Yeah. I love I've got three people being oh, my. quiet. I mean, this is incredible. Sorry. I'm just, John, Sorry. I'm That's just it. scared that I won't have enough time to finish it. Don't so. worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> before, the, before the car comes. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's got... not here yet. Did you delay <laughs> That's the car? Right. We'll, we'll get you a takeaway container. Thank you. Move that car, please. There's a whole, there's a whole pot oh, on here God. for the gallery because even they've, they've been nice to me today, which is nice of them. <laughs> <laughs> Some Thai basil, some coriander stalks chopped yep. up, which people throw the stalks away, don't use them. Oh, wow. Some mm. red chilies sliced. The big red chilies aren't that hot. Some lovely um, Thai shallots, which are, are just small shallots. You can use French shallots if you want to. And then you just mix those all together. Now, with the noodles themselves, the noodles themselves are really in important because you want the blandness of noodles, but you want texture. Mm. Slipperiness of noodles, but then also crunchiness of noodles. So with the Chiang Mai noodle, you mm. take a quarter of your noodles and you fry them. That's why you've got these crispy bits in the mm. top. Yeah, lovely. The crispy bits that they make, make it. it. Oh, my really gosh. Good. There's different textures. That. Yeah. 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 In you go and they start to fry. Now, in the last three minutes, my mm. curry paste, I haven't touched it. And there's a reason. You don't want to actually move it around too much. You want, so you take that and then you give it a little stir and then the, the big secret to a red curry paste is palm sugar. If you don't have palm sugar, use normal sugar. But while it's like this, you add the sugar to it, it changes the temperature of it all, and it'll go from being sort of a dark red to a more light terracotta red. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. That mixture now, you'll see it starts to change. That's when you add your chicken. So we've got the smell is starting to, like, you know, envelop your nostrils. Yep. Oh, mm. That's so good. The bowls I'm... are almost empty. I'm loving this. Oh, this is great. This is John, so good, I, honestly, John. John, I know you rush it. This is phenomenal. It's so good. Oh, I mean, so this is genuinely... And I don't know about you guys, but I'm having one of those moments that I'm forgetting we're on the telly. Yeah, we're like a lovely we dinner party. Eat him a yeah. really Oh, nice without one. a doubt. Oh, but the good for thing, coming. Yeah. yeah. The good thing is, coconut milk, red curry paste, a little bit of sugar, that's... You're done, right? Yeah. Chicken thighs chopped up into small pieces. Mm. And then what we're going to do is add a little bit of fish sauce to it. I know that people sometimes are a bit funny about fish sauce. It's not... There's no salt in it. It's just fermented fish, mm. which is great. That gives you your flavour. Mix that all around. Once that gives a little bit of colour, then we add the coconut milk to it. So mm, now we've got right. our fried noodles, which are done here. Mm. They're almost done. They're not quite there. Oh, I just God. don't want to rush those. Mm -hmm. our, I've got some chicken already done here, but the rest of the coconut milk just simply goes in mm. and cook it for about 15, 20 minutes. That's it. Now, you could use this. So prawns. Oh, wow. 
Bits of lean pork. Yeah. Whatever you, you want. Do a Bits of fish. Mm? Could you do a veggie one? Yeah, tofu is amazing. Okay. And people don't get scared of tofu. Don't be scared of tofu. That's just, it's so, so good. So with that, but what you do with the, we'll say we're doing fish, make your sauce and then right at the last minute drop your fish in. Don't, okay. don't cook it oh, like yeah, it would yeah, be okay. chicken. Right. And that way it'll be perfect. So what now, fish would you use? Sorry. I'd use something like cod. Okay. A, st a, a solid white fish. Right. Solid white, yeah. even smoked haddock. Ooh. Smoked haddock in a curry is absolutely delicious. Yeah, I've never had it in a curry. Fried crispy noodles. Mm. Wow. Our salad ready to go. Cold noodles in the bowl. Don't put hot noodles in the bowl. Have them just cold. Okay. Just put them in the bowl there. Okay. Because the hot sauce that will go across the top of it. Really? You wouldn't have to. Oh, oh my wow. God. I mean, it makes sense. And this way, so these when you've got the things, family. What's these great are the about. things that you don't know. Yeah, yeah, and the great thing is that when you do this and you've got the family around, and like the kids come home from school, they can just heat up some of this. Yeah. A bowl of noodles. And actually, you know what? Packs of super noodles. Oh, do you know what? Oh, really, yeah. There's nothing wrong with them. And you could have really? just prepped it yeah. earlier. And Quite left frankly, it. what you do is tonight. You sit down to watch Tower 2 there on ITVX this is it. and ITV1. And you cook this. 9 p.m., you cook this and you enjoy it. Mm. Oh, my... Look, there's, like, there's like, a new portion here. There's a whole <laughs> new portion here. <laughs> what is lighting up? It was, it was for Barry in the, the gallery, crew, but sorry, the guys, you're gone. The crew's got their name on that. Literally. The crew's got their name on that. They're rubbing their tummies. They're all like, yeah, this is ours. It's really take good. It, take your crispy noodles and then just crunch them across the top. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so you get that lovely... Um, it's so good. Thing. Then you take that lovely salad, which is all good, mm. Mm. and then you put that simply across top. Now, whenever I do Asian food or Thai food, mm -hmm. I, my little secret is use twice as many herbs as you think you need. Oh. Oh. With us in the Europeans, we use like a little bit of parsley, a little bit of this. Put loads on That's there. It. Because that's, that's where the flavour is. Well, thank you so much. Thank wow. you, John, Super for pleasure. all of the details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chefs. Head to our free This Morning app.